Let's get a sense of what's going on there. Omar al Shogre is the director of the Detainee Affairs of the Syrian Emergency Task Force. Now, he's joining us on the line from Stockholm. Uh, thank you for joining our coverage. What news of northern Syria? How is the rescue effort going there? Well, firstly, um, I, I cannot but stand in empathy with what's happening in Turkey, uh, because we as Syrian people are struggling with the same issue today. Uh, in Syria, we have over, uh, over 1,800 victims, 2,400 injured, at least with over two, 260 totally destroyed buildings. These buildings still hold inside of them uh, families that are suffering. Um, so there, are lack, there, is, there is a lack of equipment. There is a lack of health care um, equipment to treat the injured, but also vehicles that could be uh, used for rescuing the, the innocent people. On top of the fact that it's very cold days, so people need, after being rescued, they need the tents, they need, uh, they need the food, the blankets and everything. And on top of that, there is a need for actually the fuel to run the available vehicles that are being used to rescue the people. Uh, so that the need is tremendous and we need a tremendous effort uh, to address the problem. Um, you know, everybody's trying to volunteer. You have the best. The, we are very proud of having the White Helmets and Mulham team doing their work. And everybody's trying to volunteer their time and energy and power and all, everything they're doing to try to help um, to, to rescue one more human, one more cat, one more animal, anything you can find, because everything um, is destroyed for, in so many cities. It hits um, Idlib, Aleppo, Hama, Latakia, Tartus. Uh, major cities with a lot of people. As you know, the north of Syria is full of citizens who had to flee uh, from their homes and be gathered in the north of Syria on the Turkish border. So what we need at this point um, is to be able to have open borders with Turkey in order to send the injured people, because there is no health care system that can function. We understand the pressure that Turkey is facing a lot, and we empathize a lot. But there's a lot of people who are injured and they need to be sent to uh, medical facilities that are functioning. Uh, so hopefully we can get that done and we can get some help um, and some aid coming from outside of the country, because that's one of the challenges. Most of the aid that we are receiving on the ground is from the ground, is from the Syrian people or the Syrian community abroad sending donations and so on. So we hope to have the international attention both to Turkey and Syria, because everybody is Every soul is an important soul. If we can save a person, it's the most joy we can achieve at this point. Now, Omar, remind us the situation before the earthquake. Um, a lot of aid and a lot of personnel coming and going between Syria and Turkey had just that one border post that was, using, uh, that was used on a routine basis. Um, are you asking now the Turkish government to, to make a change there and to open up other roads, uh, roadways so that more stuff can come and go? Well, I think I think the borders are all closed, and that's one of the problems we have been facing for a while. But now we not when we not ask at this point we're not asking the Turkish government to open all the borders to allow all the Syrians inside Turkey, but focus on the ones who are injured who need um, special attention at this point because this is very important. This is a very sensitive time for Turkey. It's very challenging. We're not expecting them to focus on Syria. Turkey is the priority, and we understand that. But we will try to at least save the lives that we managed to get out, out, out of the rubbles uh, and actually hopefully make them, uh, help them to survive. Uh, so any, any open border would allow for the aid to come from Turkey to Syria and allow for the injured civilians to go from, from Syria inside to Turkey to get their medical treatment and perhaps return back, that would be very necessary. That would be very necessary for the children. One of the, the biggest problems we're facing today is so many children are the ones who are injured. So many mothers, you know, a woman gave birth under their rubbles and she died and they we managed to 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 get that the child the the minutes old child out of their troubles and they need uh, medical attention that does not exist in the north of Syria because of 11 years of war they had destroyed the infrastructure of the country we thank you very much indeed for being part of our coverage tonight um, Omar Al Shogi who's joining us live from Stockholm